Tested. Hey guys, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at PAX 2010. Now, obviously, it's kind of game stuff. There's Xbox, there's Kinect. But at the Microsoft booth, turns out there's also Windows Phone 7. So there was a reason for me to be here, really. They're really only showing Xbox Live. I'm going to try to show you a little bit of the UIs in the web browser. I'm not going to be able to show you too much before they tell me just to show you the games. But I will show you some games, first party games, third party games, Crackdown, all that stuff. Come on. All right, so this is Windows Phone 7. The hardware is not final. Microsoft wanted me to reiterate that many, many times. But they have it here at PAX on a Samsung phone and an LG phone. So the Samsung is just a touchscreen. The LG is a slider. They're both on AT&T. Uh, no word on what other carriers yet. I'm going to give you a tour of the Windows 7 phone interface. So here's the main hub. These are all shortcuts that we can move around. Like if I hold on, I can move this here and I can press the button. And if I slide over, this is a list of all the applications. Let's run through every single application. Here's alarms on Windows 7. Add an alarm, very simple. The interface is based on the Zoom UI. Um, hardware wise, there's a back button. There's a Windows button, which takes you to the main hub, and there's also a Bing button. I'm gonna click the Bing button real quick. What they told me it's cool is that the Bing background changes every day, and you'll get a new little factoid and a new background every single day. If I search, you know, news on Bing, uh, it won't just be like Google, it won't just give you one list, it'll get news, you get web, local, all sorts of stuff. That's kind of cool, very personalized for the mobile experience. That was the one to the calculator, Here's the calculator. What is, oh, I think the phone just died on me. So we're back, the, the previous phone just died on me. Let's go check out this other phone. Again, the color's a little different here because you personalize your colors. Um, calendar, you have your agenda, you can add appointments, go back, September. That's very cool, you know, very basic stuff. Messaging, their conversations. So I am chats is a read-only message. I can add photos or attachments. Oh, this one might not work. Pressing back. And here is a new conversation, and I can add attachments. People is the biggest thing because it's not just a contacts list; it's also your Facebook contacts. I think even your Twitter contacts. So. If you scroll over, not only get the list of your contacts, you also get your Facebook feeds and Twitter feeds. And if I click a person, here's their profile. You can click and add directly to their wall, send them an email, check their birthday, because that's one of the most important things you want to know about someone. And of course, Internet Explorer. Uh, this is WebKit-based. I'm going to quickly show you how fast it is. The hardware, again, is not final. Software, oops, typing is okay. Um, software is very near final. Windows Phone 7 actually went RTM. They released the manufacturer last week. So this is very close to uh, what you'll see in the final version. Um, they're on Wi-Fi right now. There is no SIM card on this phone, so it's not indicative of AT&T speeds. I can tell you AT&T not so good at PAX Convention Hall. But once it loads, it is actually very fast browsing up and down. You can pinch the zoom. It renders like the iPhone, where it doesn't render as you zoom. It doesn't do inline um, uh, res uh, rescaling. And this is actually really cool, how it goes uh, from horizontal to vertical portrait to landscape. I like that. Let's look at the games, because that's what they're showing off here at PAX. Here's the games hub. Windows and now Microsoft announced about 63 games on uh, Windows Phone 7, and they're gonna have more by launch. Most of those are um, Xbox Live games, meaning you'll get points, achievements, friends lists, and stuff like that. A lot of these are familiar names you'll see on iPhone and Android, for example, Geodefense. Let's go load that up. Uh, some first party games like uh, Halo and Crackdown, many, many third party games working directly with Microsoft. Um, oh, this one crashed to the desktop. 
I'm gonna blame that on the hardware. Let's uh, find a different phone. All right, so it looks like the battery on two phones I tried before were kind of dying out. This one has full battery. Let's load up some games. One thing you'll notice on the interface, it's vertical only. Some games will play in the landscape mode, but you can't really swap the, uh, the interface to landscape. Let's do, um, let's try flight control. I think this one is landscape. I'll say it again, the hardware is not final, so the loading times won't be indicative of the, the final product. This looks very familiar, just like what I played on uh, the iPhone, and touch very smooth. I'm gonna speed it up. I think it's a very easy difficulty, only one plane at a time. Not particularly exciting. Here is Ilo Milo. Now this is a game, first party by Microsoft Game Studios, and this one uses 3D graphics to really show off the power of 3D on Windows Phone 7. All right, here we go. Ilo Milo, already you can tell the graphics look really good. Uh, I think this one has a like, storybook design, so it, it is a puzzle game. Um, the point, uh, the objective of the game is to get your Ilo and Milo uh, meeting together and navigating through, through levels. The game is still loading. All right, here we go. So this is the level. I can use the arrow keys to walk Ilo. I'm not sure if this is Ilo or Milo. Um, or I can switch, and that was kind of cool. And there he goes, look at that. Oh. Walking around, pressing some buttons. This is kind of trippy, I like it. And then I'm on this button, and then maybe Milo or Ilo, whichever one he is, can walk over. Whoa, there it goes. And I can collect this box and place it somewhere. And I can, I think I can even, oh, so it does use accelerometer too, that's kind of cool. Like changing perspective a little bit. Not only is it using 3D graphics, it's also making use of the hardware, very neat. I like the pull down menu right here. That's Ilo Milo. I think you guys might have seen this before. This is Xbox Live directly ported to Windows Phone 7. So you'll get your Xbox 360 avatar. Um, your, the same clothes that you buy on Xbox 360 will be here. Um, and let's see what's a game. Here is The Harvest, another 3D action game. Also first party. All right, here it goes. Let's turn on God Mode just for the hell of it. And... Oh, new game. Alright, so this is an isometric th third-person RPG shooter, RPG action game. Um, not too clear in the story just yet, but you know, there will be a story. It does seem, uh, when I played it earlier, a little more full feature than the kind of you know, five minute casual games that you see on the iPhone. So that's, that's impressive. Um, it's more like a, a PSP or even Nintendo DS game. All right, here we go. So I'm tapping the screen, I'm going through the story, I have missions, and I'm tapping the screen to walk the guy. I'm gonna walk over to the console here complete some objectives. Doors locked, gotta find the panel. It's touch controls. Uh, this game's a little different in that it doesn't have the, uh, the pop-up, you know, uh, wannabe joystick. It's wherever you drag, it's where you go. And then, oh, enemies pop up. Tap to shoot them. There it goes. And then I'll collect items, level up, with the character. I mean, this looks pretty good on a phone. 
it's definitely, I know we saw the Epic Citadel and the stuff John Carmack showed uh, at QuakeCon, but this is almost up there. Shoot some more of these guys before I show you the next game. And there will be special powers. I can, I can um, double tap the guy to do a, a big stomp move. You know, your standard RPG shooter. All right, I'm gonna quickly show you one or two more games. Project Sunburst, this is the Crackdown, um, the Crackdown companion game. Oh, I'm gonna maybe continue on, go to playing tutorials. And it is, oh, it's, this actually is interesting because it uses satellite imagery. So, it's Bing Maps. I'm not sure if it's loading, it does, maybe it looks like it's streaming in real time even. And I can build things, build some missile turrets. I'm gonna place the weapon there. And it looks like, that is very, very cool. I can even pinch and zoom in, twist it around. Integration between, you know, what you'd find on a phone, maps on a phone, and a game. That is very, very neat. You, you're not gonna see this, you know, on your 360, or on your DS, on your, on your PC even. So that's an enemy, I wanna put some turrets up. Oh, double tap. Give me guns. No. My laser health is low. All right. Let's move on to another game. And finally, I'm gonna show you zombies. Okay, so this is Zombies. I have actually not played this before, so I won't even know what's going on. Um, I'm assuming it's a shooter. Kill 25 zombies, signal helicopter. All right, sounds easy enough. Playing against a CPU. I'll skip the cinematics. Oh, so this one actually might be turn-based. Placing zombies. Oh, maybe I am a zombie. Wow, this is kind of like uh, one of those board games, like Zombie Die. So I can pinch in. Well, there's definitely Die. Very neat. I mean, it looks much more in depth than your typical casual phone game. All right. So I want to quickly show you some other stuff on Windows Phone 7. Um, there's a camera button on here. It's a 5 megapixel camera, at least on the LG phone. Um, I'm just going to take a quick picture. There's no tap to focus, and but you do hold down the top button and take a picture. And it's neat because you can send a picture up to Facebook right there. That's very cool. <laughs> All right, so that was your quick look at Windows Phone 7, not final hardware. Start the phone, some of the phones died. People have been using them all day, so the batteries ran out. But hope that gives you a good glimpse of how the UI works. It's much like Zoom, how the web browser works, and some of the games. So I was corrected, it's Elo and Milo is the name of the game. And for Crackdown, you can actually import any Bing map. So that was actually Germany I was defending. You can do the pyramids, you can do Seattle, whatever. That's Windows Phone 7. We'll have a lot more when it comes out this holiday season. Uh, no pricing or availability announcement just yet but more to come. So this is Norm at PAX 2010. We'll see you later.